In videos from around the country, we've seen teens getting into fender benders, dangerous spin outs, and breathtaking rollovers. Now it's time to see what our teams have been up to behind the wheel. We invited them back into our studio to see what the cameras have recorded so far. My parents freaked out when they saw that. The camera captured Caitlin dressed up as Daisy Duke and an SUV full of friends on Halloween night. And according to DriveCam, the company that monitors the teen's cameras, she wasn't wearing her seatbelt and her posse wasn't either. Caitlin says it was a misunderstanding. I put mine like under my armpit instead of on my neck because it, I guess I'm short, so it rubs against my neck. Did your passengers have their seatbelt on? Mm-hmm. They all had theirs. I make sure everyone does before start moving. Halloween was a big day for Caitlin and the camera. It also happened to be the day we got together with the teens and their fathers for the first time. Not long after leaving our studio, take a look at what happened as Caitlin drove her dad around town. I triggered the camera to go off. The camera sure did come on, as Caitlin seemed to be auditioning for the role of Daisy Duke in a Dukes of Hazard movie. Up the curb! I took a wrong turn, so <laughs> we turned too quick and went over the curb and got a little bit of air. Up the curb! The Duke boys might have been impressed, but Drive Cam called it a dangerous move. She wasn't the only one driving like a stuntman. Check out Mike Fitzpatrick pulling into this car wash. And everybody was all jumbled up on one side, and I was like, I'm going through the parking lot. <laughs> and that got the camera's attention, huh? I guess so. I'd like to think I drive with a purpose. <laughs> a lighthearted moment now that it's all over and he's safe. But remember what Mike's dad said as the experiment began? And one of the biggest concerns I have is that they don't respect the fact that that can kill them in just a second. A message car safety expert Allison Dean Love hopes parents drive home again and again. Do you think that what the parent says has an impact? Hopefully. You know, I mean, we were all teenagers at one point, and we all thought our parents were crazy, but we really need to pay attention to what they say. And studies show, despite what teens say, they really do value their parents' opinion. Dylan Way is a good example. All of these video clips we're looking at, his dad has already seen every one of them. He'll just check it to make sure that I haven't like gotten a little blinking action. <laughs> the camera's lights blink when it starts recording. A sign its sensor has detected an unusual amount of G-forces. It has to be in excess of 0.5 Gs for the camera to be triggered, about the same amount of force where a passenger would feel the need to hang on. Dylan says his father Mike goes online almost every day and recently let Dylan know there would be consequences if the camera recorded too many dangerous moments. And Dylan was doing well until Monday when something happened that the camera didn't catch. But Dylan fessed up to me right away. I was speeding hmm. over the big bridge and I wasn't really watching my speed. So the camera doesn't catch everything? No. How fast were you going? 62. You know. 45. Whoa. So how much of a ticket is that? 185. But at least Dylan shows the maturity and honesty to admit his mistake to us, even though we hadn't seen it in any of the videos. And he wasn't the only one. I speed a lot. Do you think this is a tool that will help you, or do you think that you're just going to do what you're going to do? Probably a little of both. <laughs> People are just like, not going really fast, and they're just inching along and I get mad and speed and get a little bit of road rage. <laughs> <laughs> the hope is the camera acts like a mirror for our teen drivers, showing them the moments, road rage and all, <laughs> but they just as soon forget. But we're going to keep watching and we hope they and their parents do too. Did you see that? That wasn't even my fault.